Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today again I have come up with a very amazing problem. It is energy of infinite rollers. So this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Anna can be Anna can be together. And uh, as I have told earlier, also my upcoming courses on Anna can be will be on uh, fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. They will be starting around fourth of January. and uh, for a test series question papers and uh, the free classes you can unlock uh, these courses uh, from an academy website using my code nitin sir and guys another important uh, announcement is there that uh, for uh, uh, j 2022 uh, students uh, a new batch will be starting from 19th january and uh, here in january february and march we are going to revise entire syllabus of uh, 11th class and then april onwards we will be starting 12th class syllabus and uh, around uh, uh, october end or you can say maybe uh, november first week uh, we will be completing the syllabus for entire 12th and yes physics will never be the same again for more information you can uh, visit the an academy website and about this arambh batch i am going to give you more details it's a fantastic uh, team of uh, educators so i'll be uh, discussing with you in uh, more in detail so here is the statement of this uh, problem there is a system of infinite rollers having surface mass density of a not and radius of r r by 2 r by 4 till infinity each roller is mounted on a, an axle passing through the center and there is no slipping anywhere the bigger roller is rotated with the help of uh, external torque by applying a tangential force of t not uh, what is the kinetic energy of system at any time t so you can see these are uh, independent uh, roller which are mounted on these uh, horizontal axis here and their uh, size is decreasing continuously and they exist till infinity and we are applying a tangential force of uh, t not on this uh, bigger roller due to which this will start uh, rotating and since there is no slipping that will induce motion into the next one and uh, this will keep happening and all the disc will uh, start rotating or all the rollers will start rotating so here uh, you can see when we are going to apply this external torque this uh, first roller is going to uh, rotate and if it is rotating clockwise then due to no slipping this one will rotate with anti clockwise and this one will rotate with the uh, clockwise so alternate uh, rollers will be having opposite or adjacent rollers will be having opposite omega all right the their masses i can write as uh, sigma into pi r square where pi r square is a cross section so you can treat them as a disk or uh, small cylinders so it will work and similarly i can write this m2 as sigma into pi r uh, by 2 whole square m3 will become sigma into pi r by 4 whole square until infinity we can write for all the masses up to nth roller where n will be tending to infinity so one thing condition of no slipping i can write r1 alpha 1 is equal to r2 alpha 2 equal to r3 alpha 3 up to rn alpha n for the first roller if you write torque equation t not minus f1 times r is equal to i1 alpha so i'm bringing this r here so i can write t not minus uh, f1 is equal to i1 alpha 1 by r1 similarly for next one i can write uh, f1 minus f2 is equal to i2 alpha 2 by r2 similarly for all Uh, rollers i'll be writing for nth roller uh, this only one uh, friction will be there just uh, think if there were only two rollers uh, you can see here if there were only two rollers then f1 will be there but f2 will not be there so that's the reason only one term will come here so when we add these two all these terms are getting cancelled and you are getting this t not is equal to m1 r1 alpha plus m2 r2 alpha plus m3 r3 alpha up till mn rn alpha so i am writing this r1 r2 r1 alpha r2 alpha r n alpha as some constant lambda so here i can take that part common so that lambda by 2 times m1 plus m2 up to mn or take that n tending to infinity so you will be getting this t not is equal to lambda by 2 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 16 up till infinity it's a infinite gp uh, by substituting these m1 m2 values from this equation all right so a very nice uh, answer is going to come here the t not is equal to 2 lambda by 3 sigma pi r square now i can substitute this lambda value as r alpha 
सो आई बी गेटिंग दिस अल्फा वन एस थ्री टी नॉट बाई टू पाई सिग्मा आर क्यूब नाउ वंस आई नो अल्फा वन देन आई नो द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा टू अल्फा थ्री अल्फा फोर ऑल द अल्फाज आर नोन टू बी सो फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन फाइंड आउट द एंगुलर वेलासिटी एज ए फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम एंगुलर वेलासिटी सिंपली आई कैन राइट अल्फा टी बिकॉज इनिशियली एंगुलर वेलासिटी वॉज जीरो एंड वी हैव दिस रिलेशन अल्फा टू विल बिकम टू अल्फा वन अल्फा थ्री विल बिकम फोर अल्फा वन बाई यूजिंग प्रीवियस रिलेशन आर अल्फा रिलेशन एंड सिमिलरली फॉर ऑल अदर टर्म्स ऑल्सो आई कैन राइट एंड Uh, we know the omega as a function of time as well since alpha is constant so total kinetic energy of the system i can write as a uh, half i1 omega minus square plus half i2 omega to square up to up till half i n omega n square so guys i'm not explaining this calculation just i'm going to tell i1 value i'm substituting and then uh, omega as alpha t i'm substituting in all these i just hope i didn't commit any mistake then when i rearrange these uh, term i am going to substitute the value of m1 m2 m3 and also i'll be substituting the value of alphas here first i have uh, just to be careful i just substituted the value of m1 and simplified it and then i'm getting a relation like this so uh, alpha 2 also we are converting in terms of alpha 1 all right so this relation i'm going to get here you can check these calculations i'm not explaining this then again we are going to get uh, a very nice gp here so i can just write its uh, sum so total kinetic energy of the system i'm getting this as uh, pi sigma t square alpha 1 square r to the power 4 by 3 now this alpha 1 value i can uh, substitute which i have derived earlier here this alpha 1 when i substitute i am going to get this k system as uh, 3t not square small t square divided by 4 pi sigma r square this is going to be the final answer i hope guys you have enjoyed this uh, solution and this problem uh, on on this channel we have lot of uh, infinite uh, problems infinite series problems so i i, I just hope these problems are uh, somewhat becoming easier for you so thanks for watching the video